Good evening, people. Hello, good evening. Hello, Denise. Good Hello. evening. Hello, good evening, Marco. Juan Antonio. Good I'm really happy people. to see you in the class, buddy. Hello, Gisela. Hello, Janelle. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Hope. You are yeah. okay and willing to continue doing your best effort over here, right? Okay, now let me see Juan Antonio, are you there? Yeah, Dennis is there. But Marco, are you there? Can you please uh, activate your camera? And same for Juan Antonio and, Jean and Giselle. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, people. I hope that um, that you are having a great time. You know, it's a nine o'clock. We're gonna be working during an hour over here. Uh, we are gonna go especially um, to get some review about what you did in your final exam. Okay, we're going to try to create something with the knowledge and with the classes we have uh, studied so far so that I can see that you have learned something uh, significant in, in this course, okay? So let me see, I have Jocelyn. Jocelyn says, hello, teacher. All right, it's okay, Jocelyn. It's okay, Jocelyn. Okay, I'm checking something here. So how, how, was, how was the exam? How was the final exam? How was the final exam, Gisela? What was a uh, what was difficult for you, or uh, did you find it difficult actually, or was it easy? Or let me know what you, about your experience related to the exam. Um, just uh, so make se me complicó la no, la cuarta la cuarta actividad que era de ordenar la oración. All right. So, but you, you could solve it, right? Yeah. Good. Very good. What about you, uh, Dennis? How was your experience in the last uh, exam? It is question for me? Yeah, it, it is for you. How was it? Was it difficult, uh, easy, or did you find something kind of stressful? I have a medium difficult, and I'm... I read the other informations for the complete the final exam, and I finally it's okay. It's oh, considerable. Did you get a good score? Hope you got a good score. Sorry. I I hope you you have you have gotten a good score. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Moses. How was your experience, Moses, with the last exam? So it's okay. Uh, I have a uh, problem with a uh, whole part. So you have problems with the with the with the, with the part number four. What about you, Juan Antonio? <laughs> I think that I was the problem than than other partners. Uh, in the part of when we have to order the work, I think that is a little bit you found it the probability. All right. So so don't worry because we are gonna go over it, okay, and we're gonna have some review on detail. In detail, I'm sorry. Marco, what can you tell us about it? Well, um, in the final exam, I, it was, I don't have, so I don't have uh, problems. As said from the last part, the, the reading, I tried to do it many times several, or several times, but I always got uh, bad score. Oh, right. 
All right, don't worry. Um, well, we're going to start now. Let me see. Is nine seven minutes after nine, and well, it's supposed the majority of of the people should be in the class now, right? But I don't know what happened. Uh, I will share the screen. We are gonna go over the activities in the game. And we're gonna try to uh, clarify any questions you have, okay? Uh, at the same time, we're going to combine some exercises by creating something, okay? By ourselves, okay? Uh, yesterday, as you remember, we were talking about uh, linking sounds, okay? Like blending sounds uh, with uh, D or T pronunciation of um, past participle of irregular verbs. That's what we started yesterday. Okay, and today we're gonna go over the test. But let me see. Okay, now, over here. In the listening, uh, we are gonna be in church of, uh, of um, listening to uh, detailed information on physical uh, description of a of a person, right? So what we're gonna do now is, I wonder if you have a uh, colors with you, pencil, color pencil. You have color pencil? If you don't, don't worry, it's not necessary. But in case you have, you have them, uh, we're gonna learn, we're gonna listen to the audio and you are going to draw the person according to the description to listen, you listen to. All right? Did you get my idea? Now later, yes. it's, yeah, it is it is uh it is quite important you get you get my idea because at the end you are going to share your, your drawings. Okay, you're gonna share your drawings. I, I don't know if you have a notebook with you now. Todos tienen una libreta con ustedes o un cuadernito por ahí. Vamos a hacer el siguiente, el siguiente ejercicio. Vamos a poner a sonar el track en donde nos van a describir ciertas personas y lo único que ustedes van a hacer es dibujar lo que escuchan de la persona que está siendo descrita. Si tienen colores a la mano, pues úsenlo. Si no, pues vamos a sobreentender que qué que color es el cabello, por ejemplo, eh, de una persona o si acaso describiesen los ojos pues vamos a darnos por enterados que son de cierto color, ¿ok? Porque si no tienen colores a la mano, no hay problema, no los voy a hacer que corran ahorita eh, para que los consigan. Ok, ¿estás listo? Sí. Ok, so let's move on with the first. Let's move on. Acuérdense, vamos, vamos, vamos a ver dos cosas en este ejercicio. Vamos a ver qué tan buenos son para dibujar y vamos a ver que tan bien han comprendido la conversación. <laughs> ok, here we go. Uh, me avisan si hay algún problema con el audio. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. <laughs> All right. Now, did you get it? Or do you need to listen to it the second time? ¿Lo quieren oír? Ok, bye. Presten atención, por favor, porque da detalles muy, muy claros de cómo es la persona, cómo es Emily. Ok. So, we're going to listen to it second time. Be ready. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? 
Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that? Okay, now, now yes, right? Now, take your time. Tomen si unos dos, unos dos minutitos para dibujar. No queremos algo perfecto. Ok, ni nada por el estilo. Quere, queremos ver que ustedes um, de alguna manera eh, reflejan la descripción de la persona que escuchamos ahí. Ok, two minutes and we will continue. Uh, ah, by the way, what's the answer in the first one? Emily is short and in her 20s, or Emily is medium height and in her 20s, or Emily is fairly short and about 25. The, the, three, the third one. The third one. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Okay. Yes. Now let me know when you when you finish so that we can continue. Let me know when you finish so that we can continue. Uh, actually, if you if you raise your hand, that means that you already finished. Lo, si levanta la mano, voy a dar por entendido que ya terminaron. Okay, let me see. Okay, people, let's hurry. Because we have a lot of work to do tonight, okay? Okay, so I think it's enough, right? Let's move on with the next part. At the end, remember, uh, you are going to share your your uh, drawings and you are going to uh, like uh, provide the information you got in the listening, all right? Van a mostrar sus, sus dibujitos y nos van a hacer, eh, nos van a recordar cómo, cómo se describe la persona, okay? Second one. Let's continue with number two. Let's continue. Number two. I hope you already finished. Espero que ya hayan terminado. Vamos con la segunda parte. Okay. I will give you like, like two or three minutes for you to draw uh, the person and then we will move on. Okay. Ricardo is already, already finished. Teacher, me dice que a las nueve y nueve me conecté entonces no sé de qué actividad están. Ah, ok, Hola. Ricardo, Ricardo, aquí me iba a hacer con Ricardo. Bueno, well, Ricardo, estamos escuchando, vamos a hacer un repaso del, del examen final. Y ahorita, pues, he solicitado que cuando ustedes escuchen a la, a la descripción de la persona, que la puedan dibujar en un cuadernito, ¿ok? Ya después yo voy a solicitar a algunos de ustedes que nos, que nos muestren el dibujo y que nos digan qué escucharon referente a esa persona. All okay, right. teacher. Okay, okay, Ricardo. Okay, now let's continue with the second people, second part.
Mm, creo que me va a dar, pero permitan. Si no, si no podemos repetirlo a uno por uno, pues voy a poner el track dos veces seguidas, ¿ok? Todo el track. De tal modo que ustedes tomen apuntes y hagan sus dibujitos. Porque veo que si, si de otra manera me va a dar problemas el, 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 el track. Ok, let's listen, people. Hey, what's going on here? Okay. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Number one, it's the same. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. All right, I will make a post so that I will clarify something. Lo, lo voy a poner a sonar toditito porque creo que me va a dar problemas si, si lo estoy pausando mucho. Tomen apuntes y ya luego se ponen a crear los dibujos. Ya ven, ya, ok. Two. Number Sarah, two. did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. N number three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. <laughs> Number four. four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. All right. Okay, now, I think it's better if we start uh, answering the question uh, the, or the statements that we have here. Uh, talking about Emily, you said that she's short. No, that Emily is fairly short and she's about 25. Is that right? Yes. Yes. What about second one? What about Steve? What can you tell me about Steve? Steve has blue eyes and black hair. And has curly blonde hair. Uh, Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Yeah, the second option. All right. What, what can you tell me about the thief? What can you what can you tell me? What did you get? What do you remember about his information? What does he look like? Had on a black shirt and glasses, or he had a, a lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe, or the thief was sure had a white beard and was elderly. First one. The first one. First okay. one. The first one. And the number four, AJ and, and Penny are sitting on the couch and talking to Tom. Or AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and red in a red sweater. Or third option, AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Number three. 
Three. That's the one. Okay, now take your time. I wonder if you want to listen to it again so that you can uh, get um, more details, and then I will ask. I will I will play the last time. Voy a voy a, a ponerlo a sonar la última vez y ya luego pues ustedes muestran sus sus dibujos. All right. Give me one second here. Okay, here we go. Pay attention. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. She's waving. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. All right. So let us check the answer, right? The first one, you were you were all right. Emily is pretty short and about 25. In the second one, Steve is really tall and has curly brown hair. In the third one, the thief was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. In the last one, AJ Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Okay, I will stop sharing now so that I can see what you, you've done. Let me see, I will ask only four people because we have four situations, right? We have four situations. Okay, let's see. Um, I, I would really appreciate if you activate your camera. Remember, it's quite important uh, that you can activate your camera. Okay, now I need four volunteers. It's better if I ask four volunteers. Four volunteers. Who's the first? Janelle. Okay, what did you get, Janelle? Tell me about the first the first situation, about the first person that was described in the conversation. The exercise number one. Yeah. She's fairly short and is about 30 and 30. 35. Uh, 35. Uh, it's about 30. Uh, what can you share the drawing that that you <laughs> that you got? <laughs> um, well, I I can. Yeah. Ah, why don't we do something? Why don't you take a picture of the drawing and share it in the WhatsApp group? <laughs> that would be better, right? No excuses, right? No excuse. That's what we are going to do. Now, you can check your WhatsApp group and see Janelle's drawing. Okay? 
Okay, Janelle, I will, I will see it over here. I don't have colors and... Oh, so don't worry. I... Don't worry. Okay, want to see it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Daddy, hey, what's her name? Is that is the name of the person Emily? Let me see. Oh, that's Emily. That's Emily, right? Yes. Okay, that's the way you 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 uh imagine the person. That, that was quite good. Okay. Okay, Janelle. Very good. We are remember we are remembering when we were in, in, in at elementary school, right? Don't worry, that was fantastic. Thank you. Is there any is there any other volunteer? Uh, remember, you have to share your drawing in the in the WhatsApp group, okay? <laughs> is there any other volunteer? I need four volunteers, and then we, we we need to move on with the activity. I have a Steve. Oh, oh, all right, all right, Dennis, and after Dennis, Marco. Okay, Dennis, go ahead. Uh, uh, Dennis, remember you have to take a picture with your cell phone and share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dennis. Okay, that's Steve. Uh, what can you tell us about Steve, Dennis? I saw I saw it in the <laughs> I saw it in WhatsApp. What can you tell us about Steve? Steve has a uh, curly hair and uh, I don't have idea, but what is the Rubio? A blonde. A blonde. He and has I, blonde hair. He has blonde hair, yes. Thanks and Carly. he's very tall, but I in the picture don't have a legs. <laughs> okay. Excellent, Danny. Thanks Thank for you. sharing. Okay, I can see that you are you are an artist also, right? <laughs> hey, Marco, what's what's new? What do you have for the group? Marco, take a picture. Okay. Oh, I can see Marco. Does that, ah, this is about the thief, right? The thief is his elderly, short. And has a white bird. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, and since he is a thief, that's why you draw big hands, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. Hey, I need to listen to the last person. The, the last, the last uh, participant, the last volunteer. We only have. Let me see how many situations do we have? Four, right? And we have three, so I need I need to listen to the last person. Who got it? Who got it? No one? Well, if if no one wants to participate about it, so I think we're going to continue, okay? But that was kind of funny, right? That was kind of funny. And now let's see, we will continue. Because I, I can see that there is no any other volunteer. Okay. So uh later you had to complete a conversation, right? And do me the favor to uh, now, yes, I want everybody to participate, people. Let me see. In this conversation or in this activity, you were in charge of uh, completing the, um, the conversation by using present perfect, okay, and the in the verse. In a correct a form. Now, who wants to help me with number one? Let me see. I will check the attendance at the same time. Uh, Christian, please complete number one. Oh. Christian, Happy. Christian. Yes, yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can listen to you. Number one. Have you been to any good movies lately? Yes. Have you been? Yes. So this is the answer. 
just been substantial. Have you been to any good movie lately? All right. Uh, let me see. Ada, Ada, can you listen to me, Ada? Help me with the with this with the answer, please. Ada is not. Maybe she's facing problems. Now I think it's better if we do it live, asking for volunteers. Who wants to help me? Okay, Ricardo, please. Yes, I have already seen three films this month. Like this? Thank you, Ricardo. What about the second one? He ever ate in Thai food before? Have. Volunteers, people. Let us try help, please? Okay, go Thank ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Has he ever ate eating Thai food before? Has he? Has he ever eaten Thai food before? Good. Okay, let's continue. No, he has never in his life. Anybody else? Uh, I'll teach you. He has never had. He has never had it in his life. All right. Let's move on. Read the sentences and choose the correct answer. Now, this is this is easier, right? Because you're in charge of choosing an option. I lived in Boston for years. I loved every minute I was there. What's the best answer? Since or four? Four. 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 Okay. four. four. Now, number two. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. Or, in, or since? Since. 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 Since 2001. Patrick has studied Portuguese a long time. For, for a long time. For a long time. Wow. That was fantastic. I think you got a 10 over here. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Yeah. All right. Let us check. Okay. Now, can somebody read the statement completely? Have you been to any good movie lately? Good. Can somebody else continue with the second part? Yes, I have already seen third films this month. Fantastic. Let us move on with the second one. Who wants to help me to read the statement? Has he ever eaten Thai food before? Pretty good, Moses. And the answer? No, he has never had it in his life. Okay, thank you pretty much. What about the second part? Who wants to help me to read here? I live. Okay, thanks for participating. I live in Boston for five years. I love every minute I was there. Good, number two. My my my. <laughs> okay. Let, okay. He said, "La." My wife. Uh huh. My wife and I. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year since 2001. Wow! Fantastic, Claudia. The last one, please. Okay. Uh, Patrick had students for to guess for a long time with uh, his how good spoken now. Speaking now. All right. So I I hope that you don't have any problem with this part. Okay. If you have problems, just let me know it and we can discuss it. Si tienen alguna alguna duda de de los ejercicios, pues nos detenemos un ratito y proveemos eh, un poquito más de de explicación y a lo mejor creamos otro ejercicio. Si no, pues este es, continuamos. Okay, now in here we have we have something similar because we're gonna uh, check, we're gonna choose, right? A possible answer. 
And I have the number one that's my brother is in about at his 20th and goes to college in Arizona. Number one. In. In. in number two, Tracy does has is short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Has has Tracy has short. Short. Okay, has. Phil's nephew is has are. Feet, five feet eight and has that brown beard and a mustache. Is teacher. Is. Has Martin ever missed, climbed, or lost an appointment? Missing. 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 Missed. How many times have you lost your classes, sports, or cell phone? Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. Have you ever ridden or driven or drank a truck? Driven. Right. Driven. Yes, driven, driven. Okay, let us check. Let us check. Good. Okay, my brother is in his 20s. Tracy has a short, straight black hair. Phil's nephew is five feet. Has Martin ever missed an appointment? How many times have you lost your cell phone? Have you ever driven a truck? Okay, the pronunciation, I could notice that some of, some of you said like driving. No, people, it is driven. Driven. It's like the very right, right? The past is wrong and the past participle is written. Same with the, with right, wrote, written. Okay, pretty good. That was quite good. Okay, I will try to move on because we, we still have some uh, some exercises and I, I, I need to see that you create something by your own. Let me see, this is, okay, let's move on to this one. Ah, this is, this is the part you said that you had some problems about. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Yeah, uh, okay, let us see what you got in the first one. In the first one, uh, it says, uh, it's gorgeous, there is in Christy hair, really in. Christian, what did you get there? What, what should we start with? Con que deberíamos de iniciar? Primero, observar. Uh -huh, exactly. Exactly. Primero tenemos que ver si es una pregunta, si es una oración en negativo o, o si es una, un, un statement positivo. Aquí lo que tenemos al final es un puntito. Quiere decir que si no hay nada que sea negativo acá, quiere decir que es una oración en positivo. Ok, si ustedes se fijan en el segundo, aquí sí, miren. Y aquí mismo nos está diciendo que tenemos que elaborar una, una pregunta en la segunda. Pero en la primera no. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo comenzamos? Por ahí dijeron Cristi, ¿ok? Necesitamos un sujeto. Que okay, let's see. Cristi. Cristi is really. Ajá. Cristi. Is. Is. In. 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 Hair. Hair. This is really gorgeous. Ah, ok. Por ahí tienen otra opción. Miren. Christy is really gorgeous. Ajá. Uh -huh. Christy is really gorgeous. And um, in her thirties. In, in her thirties. Okay, now it makes sense, right? ¿Quiénes lo tuvieron así? Yes, but it's wrong. No, I think this is the best option, right? Yes, but it's, but it's not the correct answer. 
uh, why not? Christy is is in is in 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 her thirties. Yes. Yes. In yes. Her 30s. And, and, and really. Ah, oh, okay. Now listen. Si nosotros ponemos Christy is in her thirties, tendría que haber un punto. Ok, tendría que haber un punto. Ahí hay una idea completa. Y de ahí iniciaríamos con she. She is pretty, or she is really gorgeous. Entonces tendríamos dos oraciones. Entonces creería yo que esta es la mejor opción. Ok, no les digo que no se pueda con la otra, así como lo están diciendo ustedes, porque también tiene sentido, pero... El problema es que en el ejercicio no nos está dando un, un pronombre personal. No dice she, no hay ningún she aquí. Entonces ahí nos complica. Entonces lo más certero es esto que tenemos acá. Christy is really gorgeous. And, y aquí está, aquí lo une. And in her thirties. Ok. Entonces yo creo que algunos enfrentarán alguna dificultad. Por lo mismo, porque así como ustedes lo han pensado, ¿algunos de ustedes lo pensaron? Sí, se puede, pero eh, tendríamos que tener un, otro sujeto, o sea, un pronombre, el pronombre she. Veamos el segundo, ¿cómo lo resolvieron? De hecho, ya lo vamos a chequear, chicos. Sí, porque yo lo puse así y me salió mala. Ya cuando lo ponga, se va ah, a dar cuenta. Ah, ok. O uh, a lo mejor... Bueno, ahí lo vamos a ver. Where must you have Sam in those in those glasses? In what did you get in the number two? Does 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 Sam Sam have have a mustache? Have a mustache? Mustache. Does a weird Glasses. And wear glasses. And wear glasses? Ahora, aquí les voy a hacer una aclaración. Ustedes pueden decir, does, does, have, uh, does Sam have a mustache? Es, la oración está perfecta. Ok, pero también podríamos escribirlo como, hey, does, does Sam wear glasses? Que también se podría. El, 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 la plataforma nos va a mostrar una opción. Ok, esta está bien, pero también se puede de la otra manera. Entonces, cuando, cuando ustedes vean que en la, en la plataforma ustedes consideren que está bien, entonces a lo mejor la, 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 la plataforma no se lo valida porque lo tiene al revés. Ok. A lo mejor y comienza con wear, class, wear glasses y no con uh, si, si tiene un, un bigote. De acuerdo, ya lo vamos a ver. A ver si, si, está, si está al revés, no se preocupen porque esta oración está buena. Ah, y otra cosa, creo que también se los puede invalidar porque si ustedes se fijan acá, yo le he puesto un signo de interrogación, lo cual ya no tendría que ir porque aquí está en la plataforma, ¿ves? Son cositas que algunas veces este, los programas no las aceptan. Ok, number three. What did you get in the number three, people? Cindy. 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 Cindy is medium. Cindy is medium. Cindy is medium. Is medium? Medium what? Height. 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 Medium height. height. Mm -hmm. And has long and has red long hair. Long red red hair. hair. Long red. And has long red hair. Red hair. It is the same, right? Similar to the previous one. Okay. Cindy is medium height. 
Ok, está bien. A lo mejor no, no sabemos cómo nos lo va a presentar la plataforma, pero pues el orden, el, el, regreso a lo mismo. Si acaso no les, no les acepta una opción, prueben con otra. Number four. On person next to Jason Coach, who's to sit in the... Who's, who's the person? Okay, who's, who's the, the person? person? Sitting on the couch, on the couch, next to James. Next to Jason, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna check it, people. Vamos a, vamos a revisarlo. Okay, we have it like Christy is really gorgeous. And in her thirties. Christy is really gorgeous and in her thirties. Okay. Oh, and actually it can be in both ways, right? También esta se puede en ambas maneras. Miren. Christy is in her thirties and really gorgeous. Christy is really gorgeous and in her thirties. Both ways were correct. Good. Number two. Does Sam have a mustache? Does Sam wear glasses and have a mustache? Or does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Both were okay also, right? Para los que lo escribieron de, amba, de una de las dos maneras, perfecto. Cindy is medium height and has long red hair. Or Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. Number four. Who's the person sitting on the coach next to Jason? Or who's the person sitting next to Jason on the coach? Both options were also all right. Excellent. Wow. You did it. Esta, es la parte, esta fue la parte más difícil, entiendo. Is that right? Yeah, yeah okay. So yes. I don't know. Is there any question about it? No questions. No questions. Good. Okay, let's see. Let's move on. Then we, you had a reading, right? You had a reading. And let me see. Well, I, I don't think we have enough time to finish it. But let me see. Some people are chatting. I'm sorry. Seeing this, seeing this video hide and has long. Okay, Nelson is participating in the chat. Okay, very good. Now, you read this information, right? It's about neighborhood, uh, as far as I remember. Uh, guess what? I moved into a new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood, and there are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here for breakfast. This morning, I came to to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Uh, actually, it's an internet cafe, so I'm emailing uh, you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a uh, landmark on our street, and there were some interesting stories, stores, too. One store sells uh, lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. A my roommates told me there is a dance club just a blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit Sarah. Okay, so over here it's it's a little bit easier because it's, in this part you were in charge of uh, checking four things she can do in her neighborhood. Now let us see. I will read and then you tell me if I need if I'm if I have to check it or not. Read books. Yes or no? No. No. Eat Venezuelan food? No. No. Exercise, no. exercise no. at a gym? No. 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 Get a haircut? No. 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 Go dancing? Yes. 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 She can go dancing. Go shopping? Yes. 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 She can go shopping. Make travel arrangements? No. 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 Uh, see movies? No. 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 Send emails? Yes. 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 Uh, she can send yes. email. Wash dry clothes? 
Yes. 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 And she yes. can wash and dry clothes. Okay. And it says four activities. Let me see. Ah, yeah, four things, right? So we are done with it. Let us check if we are if we have it in the right way. Wow, excellent people. Great job. Hey, I hope you got a, a hundred percent of the of the score. Okay. Now uh, let me see. I'm missing like five minutes, you know. Time runs uh, pretty fast, but let me see. I will stop sharing and I will check the list of attendance as, as soon as possible. And then we are going to comment about the way you have, um, about the experience you have gone through in this course. David Roberto. Esmeralda Isabel. Aquí. Okay, Esmeralda. Yes. Eh, María Elena. Present teacher. Excellent, María Elena. Eh, Nelson Rodimiro. I'm here, teacher. All right. Eh, Sonia Rebeca. Stephanie Michel. Victor Alfredo. And that's it, right? Okay, people. Hey, you know what? I'm pretty uh, happy and I feel uh, I am proud of your, of your effort, your performance in the class being quite good. La verdad, me siento muy orgulloso eh, por el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen. Okay, eh, no es... Eso sale de, de lo común. ¿Saben por qué? Yo le decía al grupo anterior, les decía, ustedes hacen la diferencia en medio de, de muchas personas, porque la mayoría de personas eh, regularmente, cuando ya miran que son las nueve, pues ya van buscando la camita, ¿verdad? Ya van buscando descansar y este, dormir mucho, ¿ok? Y eso está bien. Pero hay otro tipo de personas como ustedes que les gusta dar como la extra milla y eso pues no todas las personas lo tenemos verdad desde eso de dar un una milla extra pero ustedes lo hacen y eso es lo sorprendente de, de estos grupos la verdad es sorprendente que encontrarme con personitas como ustedes que sobresalen porque invierten su tiempo en horas nocturnas para crecer cada día más Se los aplaudo, siempre se los voy a aplaudir, ok, no importa que nos equivoquemos en el curso, en algunas, algunos ejercicios, eh, algunas veces nos van al dolor de cabeza, así como me mencionaron al inicio que les costó cierta parte del examen final, pues eso es normal. Y les, les adelanto que mientras más avancen en los cursos, por supuesto, van a crecer con, su, con el idioma y, por supuesto, que se van a encontrar con otro tipo de estructura que a lo mejor se les va a dificultar. Pero les animo a que nunca se den por vencidos. Yo tengo 40 años y quizás tengo como unos 25, 30 años de estar estudiando inglés. Yo siempre soy un estudiante. ¿Ok? Siempre soy un estudiante. Siempre voy a aprender. Y si ustedes se dan cuenta... En las clases a mí me gusta estar repitiendo, sea básico, sea intermedio, sea avanzado, sea el nivel que sea, yo siempre estoy tratando de, de repetir porque mientras más practiquemos, más eh, 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 somos, somos mejores, aprendemos, aprendemos más y crecemos en el idioma. Entonces les animo a que no se vayan a dar por vencidos ni por vencidas porque eh, hay que sacarle provecho al curso. Ok, sacarle a que nos cueste de 9 a 10, eso no. Si ustedes lo tienen bien definido, ok, si usted ya lo, ya está agendado en su vida aprender un segundo idioma, háganlo, háganlo, sean mejores que nosotros, los profesores, porque ese es el objetivo, que ustedes sean mejores que nosotros, que se enamoren del idioma. Y además de eso, yo les digo, este, que también sea como un pasito para que más adelante ustedes... Eh, se enamoren de otro idioma, ¿por qué no un francés, un italiano, un alemán, un lo que ustedes decidan? Pero, 
pero es como nada más como darle pie a, al inicio de una historia bien bonita que se llama el aprendizaje de los idiomas. Ha sido un placer muy enorme para mí estar con ustedes. Esta es la última sesión que tenemos y no se preocupen por los diplomas porque los diplomas les van a llegar. En su momento este, los, los compañeros administradores les van a decir eh, las fechas en que los van a recibir. ¿okay? Y si hay algún requisito que tengan pendientes, también ellos se lo van a hacer saber. Así que pues ha sido un placer y no sé si alguien quiere comentar algo para, para finalizar. No. Ok. Uh, Claudia. Yo, teacher, quiero agradecerle porque ha sido un excelente profesor. Nos ha ayudado mucho y me ha costado. Me ha costado mucho. Voy a seguir aprendiendo tal y como usted dice porque no voy a tirar la toalla. Eso. Y eso That's... espero llegar a aprender el idioma bien y entenderlo. ¿verdad? Porque That's... sí, a mí me da un dolor de cabeza estar escuche y escuche el la, la información y me da cólera que no, me le, no se me quede pero sí, estoy haciendo lucha y gracias por animarnos a todos le agradezco sí. no, gracias a ustedes, la verdad se han, se han comportado como personas wow, excelentes y Claudia, le, le, le voy a hacer una sugerencia, fíjese que sí. todos pasamos por ese proceso que nos duele la cabeza de tanto, quizás cuando, cuando, es, cuando es básico, cuando es un, un pre-intermediate, este, como que el, nuestro cerebro se está acostumbrando. Entonces, en ese proceso es que muchas veces o algunas veces los estudiantes dicen, no, yo mejor aquí tiro la toalla porque hasta la cabeza me duelen, dicen, dicen algunos. Entonces, ahí es donde cometen el peor error, porque es cuando el, cuando el cerebro apenas está intentando enlazar y decodificar el idioma. Entonces, cuando ya el cerebro logra decodificar el idioma, ya cuando pasan a un intermediate, upper intermediate, ya no les sorprende nada. O sea, uno habla y habla y habla y da indicaciones y todos lo siguen al pie de la letra y ya es algo común, se vuelve común. Pero para eso hay que pasar un proceso. Entonces, no se desanimen. Gracias, teacher. No sé si hay alguien más. Teacher. Dígame, Mary. Eh, pues nada, nada más agradecerle la paciencia que nos ha tenido. <risa> no, ese es mi trabajo y la verdad <risa> sí. que, ¿saben que, sí. ¿saben que yo sí. disfruto mucho? ¿Saben por qué disfruto? Porque cuando, yo sé cua, cómo, cómo recibo mis estudiantes y yo visualizo cómo quiero que terminen mis estudiantes con el mes que, que pueda tenerlos en, mi, en mis manos, ¿verdad? Y lo que, lo que más me... Me da alegría es ver que ha habido un avance. Si ha habido un avance, yo me siento satisfecho. Y me siento más satisfecho cuando ustedes se hacen una autoevaluación y dicen, ¿me sirvió? ¿Me sirvió poco? ¿Me sirvió mucho? Entonces, cuando ustedes dicen, se, se autoevalúan, entonces también eso quiere decir que hay satisfacción en ambas partes. Y eso es sumamente importante. Pero... Les hago la sugerencia que cada vez, no sé si van a continuar conmigo o, o les van a mover, no, lo van a ver con otro docente, pero sea con, con quien sea que se encuentren, siempre traten de hacer su mejor esfuerzo. Eh, a estos niveles que ustedes van a llegar, ya intermediate, eh, ya no, les recomiendo que si les dejan una tarea, que ya no vayan a leer la información, que hagan el esfuerzo por aprenderse la información que hagan el esfuerzo por aprenderse la pronunciación, que se sientan cómodos en la clase. Si ustedes se sienten cómodos, pues van a tener mucho que ganar. Pero si ustedes se sienten intimidados porque mucho inglés se les habla o porque o se sienten muy, demasiado tímidos o que no quieren participar mucho, también eso va a tener un efecto. ¿Okay? Eso va a tener un efecto y no, nosotros como inglés corporativo lo que estamos buscando es que ustedes sean bilingües. Eso es lo que nosotros queremos. Ok, así que me despido. Ha sido un placer. Eh, espero que disfruten mucho con sus seres amados y que pues el otro año traiga pues muchas bendiciones para cada uno de ustedes. Sí, yo... 
Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, let us see in the intermediate level. All right. Hey, Marco, you did a great job, buddy. Just keep working hard. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Okay, Merry Christmas. Hey, Jonel, you did it also, Christian. And everybody, you did a great job. Okay, David. Thank you. Bye. Good time. See you soon. Goodbye, Janelle.